The Marlin 336 3030, let's check it out. Lever action rifles were introduced back in the 1840s. Uh, it was a big advancement over the single shot rifle. Uh, and these could be loaded really quickly. And of course, with the lever action itself, very smooth, very easy to shoot. Now these were used during the Civil War, also during the Indian Wars here in America, but a number of other wars uh, around the world. Now Marlin Firearms was founded in around 1870. And they began to produce these rifles um, and really competing with the giant Winchester. Uh, for a long time, Marlin was the underdog, but uh, many years later, Marlin really took the market, mainly because it was a solid mount on the receiver, which that way you could mount scopes, optics, you know, to be able to shoot, especially as, you know, modern shooters really started using optics for hunting. Uh, the lever action rifle is still one of the most popular hunting rifles, especially in 3030. Today we're going to take a look at the Marlin Model 336W. This is actually an 1895 design lever action rifle, uh, but this has been one of the most popular by Marlin. Uh, they also make another model, or have in the past, the 30AS, which has a birchwood stock. Uh, the Model 336 has a walnut stock, and these are really nice. What's funny is I don't have any Marlin lever action reviews on the channel. Uh, and so Nate at Gun Pro Deals was gracious enough to send this little Model 336 for the review. Um, I really appreciate Nate at Gun Pro Deals for sending this and being a sponsor of the channel. So we're going to take a look at the Marlin 336, a lot of its details. And these are great little rifles as you know. The Marlin 336 was actually introduced in 1948 and it has been one of the most popular lever action rifles in America. First thing we want to do is make sure the gun is unloaded, tube is empty, action is clear. To me, the lines of a good lever action rifle just appeal to me. They're handy, they're lightweight, uh, much less than a bolt action rifle, and uh, they're very quick to load. I mean, when you pop that lever, I mean, it makes those rounds really fast loading. Uh, one of the things that was really a big plus with these rifles is they have a tube-fed magazine. So you have six plus one, uh, you can, you're can you ready to go, uh, you have a lot of repeatability, especially in a hunting situation, or for that matter, even a home defense situation. A few years ago, I did a review on lever-action rifles for self-defense, especially those states that have restrictions on semi-autos, or even countries. A lot of times, the lever-action rifle is a great surrogate. Now this particular model already has a 3x9 scope mounted uh, with rings and the mount. One of the great things about the Marlin lever actions is that they are solid top. One of the reasons why they really started surpassing Winchester in sales, because Winchester has the ejection port at the top, and that really hinders putting scopes. Now you can do a side mount scope, but this is definitely a better option. Of course, this model just happens to come with this. Of course, there are models that don't have it. Uh, the scope itself, it, there's no name on the scope. Uh, it's just included with the rifle. But pretty decent scope, duplex reticle, and uh, pretty clear glass. Now, the barrel is 20 inches. Uh, they do make a 24-inch model as well. Over the years, they've made different barrel configurations down to even 16 inches and different calibers. These are really medium-range brush guns. Uh, and when I talk about medium-range, we're talking about 150 to 175 yards. Really, the caliber is really close to the 7.62 by 39 uh, by the Russians, the same round used in the AK-47. Now the wood stock is very well done. Uh, the checkering is nice. You know, you're not seeing as much wood with guns, but uh, this is really a beautiful gun and really more traditional. I mean, again, this is really specifically for hunting. It makes an excellent deer rifle. 
It does have a pistol grip, which makes it really nice. A lot of the older, especially Winchesters, had the straight grip. Uh, the uh, lever kind of curves down and really easy to deploy that lever. Now right here is the loading gate. It will take six rounds in the tube. Uh, one of the things about this loading gate in particular was it was pretty stiff when I first got it. Uh, it's, but after shooting, I probably shot about 300 rounds through this rifle and it really loosened up quite a bit. Uh, one of the things about the Marlin uh, is that people really like the side loading gate. Uh, with Henry, they do a tube fed, so you load at the top of the tube. So a lot of guys prefer this, so it's one of the things about the Marlin. As you can see, when you bring the lever back, the bolt comes back, around is led up here into the chamber, and you're ready to fire. Here is a cross bolt safety, so once you put it on, it actually blocks the hammer. It doesn't stop the hammer action, but there is a firing pin block. The great thing about that is if you drop it, it's not going to fire. So you can actually carry it this way, and then when you're ready to fire, just hit your safety. And of course, red means fire. The trigger pull on this rifle is really crisp and very nice. I mean, it's a single stage trigger. Probably breaks about six pounds. Okay, we have rear buckhorn sights right here. These are adjustable. And the front sight is hooded and it is a blade. It also has a brass bead to be able to pick that up pretty quickly. And now with these mounts, you can't see through the mounts, but if you wanted to take the scope off, you could easily use the iron sights. They are very effective. We do have a sling attachment right here at the front, and it's just a band that holds the handguard on. We have another swivel mount here. It does have a plastic buttstock. Uh, 3030 is not really excessive with recoil, but uh, it can definitely punch your shoulder just a little bit. Now, as far as ammo choices, the sky's the limit. I mean, there are so many different ammo choices for 3030. Uh, these typically go from 110 grain up to 160 grain. And the velocities can range anywhere from 2,300 feet per second up to 2,600 feet per second uh, and give you about an 1,800 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. Uh, so again, this is a suitable whitetail round for sure, and they've, it's been used to harvest thousands, if not millions. One of the things, though, about the 3030, because it is tube-fed and you've got the rounds lined up this way, if you used a pointed bullet, uh, you could actually hit the primer uh, when you're placing them into the tube uh, and of course with recoil and things like that so typically your 3030 is rounded off uh, these are hunting rounds these are fusion from federal and uh, you know that's one of the thing the limitations of the 3030 with the tube fed is because you have to use that uh, rounded tip henry came out with a rifle just recently that was a lever action that you can actually shoot 223 or 308 which all have a standard tip with the bullet now, some of the advantages of a lever action rifle, again, it is light, it's handy, it's compact, it's really easy to use in the field. Left-handed shooters uh, are easily adaptable to this. The only difference is, is your loading gate. But, uh, you know, as far as shootability, it's really ambidextrous. You do have six rounds in the tube. It is super fast to reload. Uh, again, it is more of a brush gun, so a limitation would be is your range. I mean, you're talking about, you know, again, 150 to 175 yards. Shooting this prone is definitely a problem because of the lever. Uh, even at the shooting bench sometimes it can be a problem. Uh, making sure that you have a high enough rest. And the weight on here typically is about seven, seven and a half pounds. With the scope, it runs just over eight pounds. Also, these are really limited to medium pressure rounds. Uh, the, the action itself is not really great for high pressure rounds. There are a lot of different caliber choices with lever action, uh, 4570 being my favorite, uh, but the 444 Marlin is really close. But still, those really high pressure rounds, this action is just not that strong. The price is also very reasonable. This rifle with the scope runs $374. And pretty much those are the pros and the cons of the rifle. Uh, it definitely has its limitations, but then again, it has its advantages. Uh, 3030, again, is the recoil is not that uh, excessive, so it makes it a good, solid hunting round, and yet it's not bruising up your arm. Now, Marlin was bought out by Remington Arms, uh, and they moved the production facility. Uh, since that time, honestly, per, the uh, quality of these rifles has suffered some. Uh, in fact, when I first picked up this rifle, the loading gate was kind of stiff. The action was a little bit 
just not quite as smooth as some of the earlier Marlins. Now, one thing is, after I shot about 100 rounds through this, the loading gate was working much better. Uh, the action was a lot smoother. And so I'm going to attribute a lot of that just to, you know, this gun being brand new, never been fired. But uh, that definitely was a little bit of a disappointment to me. Uh, but again, for the smoothness that you're going to get, you know, you're going to pay quite a bit more. You know, like the Henry rifles, you know, they can run up to about $700 for a comparable model. Uh, but the quality is really very high. Uh, with this, you get a good budget lever action rifle in 3030, really for well under $400 with a scope. And without the scope, it definitely brings it down even more. So I think that this is still an excellent choice. Uh, you'll just probably need to shoot it some to kind of break it in, at least on this model in particular. And so for those who say I never say anything negative, again, pros and cons and a few things about the rifle. But overall, this is a very fine rifle, and uh, the accuracy is really good on these rifles. Uh, we're looking at a probably just under two inch group at 100 yards. Uh, unfortunately, while I was out at the range, we got some shooting done and we did some testing, and that was what we were getting, but I lost that video. So, uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show it. But, guys, honestly, the Marlin 3030, it's been around since 1948, and if you want to look up accuracy, there is tons of data out there for you to check out. And again, I want to thank Nate at Gun Pro Deals for sending this rifle for this test and evaluation. Uh, check them out at GunProDeals.com, and uh, they run a lot of great specials, and their prices are excellent. And a disclaimer to YouTube, I am not selling this rifle. I'm not offering it for sale. Uh, this is for information only. Thank you. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Block, block, blah, blah. They were used in the Civil War. They were used, obviously, in the Cowboy uh, Indian Wars. There's a lot of checkering. Oops. And uh, just really a big. Okay. Today we're going to look at. Wait, my paper. Where's my paper? Where's my paper?